All right. Hello, everybody. Zach 99 back with another First Impressions Review. This is a game that came out a couple of days ago on November the 11th. It is Hold or Die. Brought to us by developer and publisher Expo Vision. This is the first title on Steam, but it looks like they went ahead and put up a couple of games already, probably at the same time. But another game supposedly coming out about almost a year from now called Duct Tape Simulator, where you go around and duct tape different broken things in a 3D world. But Hold or Die here, guys, comes in at what seems like a pretty steep $15 price tag, and it's a uh, single-player or online co-op game where you can go first or third person, and you need to protect your base against hordes of mutants. Unite with other survivors and craft barricade traps and turrets and try to survive. Now it looks like it looks like it could be fun, so I'm a little bit, you know, curious if this is actually a fun little game or if it's just a really, you know, well done trailer to make a terrible game look good. So I'm kind of torn. Uh, the first the uh, review here, the only review it has is somebody who's put like almost five hours into the game, but they only have one review. And so, love well, the idea of bring, uh, to bring tower defense mechanics to a shooter game. You guys uh, just need to take some ideas from Call of Duty mode and add tower defense solutions, and it will be a great game. So, yeah, I don't know if this guy is like the developer's friend or what, but we're going to go ahead and find out if Holder Die is uh, worth a $15 price tag and if there's any amount of fun in this game or if it's just another cobbled together asset mess. We'll do that right after this. All right, guys, welcome back. So this is what we get when we launch the game, Hold or Die. We see we're running at 120 FPS up here. We have single player, multiplayer. We don't have anybody co-op to play with us, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the settings here. The resolution uh, looks like 1920 by 1080 is the highest you can go. We have full screen, you know, window full screen, etc. The V-Sync uh, frame rate is unlimited. Show FPS. It looks like yes. But, oh, okay, so the yes is, looks like the things that are highlighted here are not that. So dynamic resolution is set to no, wait a minute, is set to yes, okay. And then a V-Sync is set to yes as well. Okay, so what it looks like highlights, see, it looks like this part's highlighted to me, but this is actually what's highlighted here. Okay, overall quality. Well, we don't have any motion blur, but motion blur, guys, I know from playing so many of these Unreal games that have these default settings and this game is no different this is a very default unreal settings uh options here that motion blur is going to be in this post processing so we're going to turn that all the way down uh we're going to turn textures down as well turn the effects down anti-aliasing don't worry about that shadow can go down to low foliage can go down to high view distance we'll put it high and we'll apply that and hit accept and we'll jump in Without further ado, so we have a game mode Gloomy Factory. We have Silent Hill. So we have two maps in the whole game. Okay, let's do the first one first, I guess. Uh, Friendly Fire is not going to be applicable because I don't have anybody playing co op. Kill all zombie waves. Let's do it. Okay, so we have no options for any kind of guns or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, let's just. Hit the play button. Okay, so this map looks pretty good. These zombie assets look fucking horrible. And I can't get out of here. Reload. Right. No sound of me dying, no blood splatters, no nothing else. This is not a good start, guys. Let's try again. Play. Trying to get out in the open here so we have a little bit more room to move. Yeah, way too many fucking mobs coming at me at once, I'm just saying. That guy's stuck. I can't move. Right, boy, this is really giving me... 
So, what happened to my sound? Like, okay, let's turn the sound way down. Alright. Music volume way down. Characters volume. Turn that shit way down. Because I'm assuming that's going to be the enemy. Let's, yeah, let's turn... Turn the volumes way down. Because it's way too fucking loud. Alright. Yeah, not a good first impressions, guys. I like the map. That's about all I like, but... This map is probably another asset, I'm just saying. Okay, why are we throwing 7,000 assets at the player, like, immediately? That isn't how you create a challenging game to the developer. And why can't I move a little bit through these... Okay. This is a great way to infuriate new players into the game. Like, a player spawns into your game, first fucking time they play the game, and they have a hundred fucking enemy assets coming at them at once. And within ten seconds, there's so many fucking assets, the player can't even move. That is not how you create a challenging or compelling game. This is absolute garbage. This is what game guru developers do, is they throw in seven million fucking default assets that come in the game guru kit and try to say that, oh, they've created a challenging game. And the volume hasn't helped. Like, how low do I have to turn down the master volume where I'm not hearing fucking zombie growls high as hell? UI volume. Everything is really fucking low, but somehow I have a feeling that we're still going to hear ah! super fucking loud. $14.99 for this fucking pile of shit game, huh, Mr. Developer? Your first game on Steam, and it's an absolute pile of shit. Like, you should have just bought Game Guru. Well, at least the fucking volume of the zombies isn't through the roof right now, but it's still too fucking loud, considering where I put the volume settings. But, this is maddening. Like, how is a player supposed to do anything with, uh, oh, now I'm at a dead end. And I can't move up there. Yeah, how am I supposed to get rid of all these zombies? This is what incompetent, lazy developers do. This is the same thing, like I said, the Game Guru developers do. They take the Game Guru kit, they try to make a challenging game by throwing in fucking 4 million fucking zombie assets or whatever into the game on the player immediately. And then when the player, you know, dies in 10 seconds like I've done, they say, oh, it's a lack of skill. You're just not good. The game's great. You're just not good at the game. I get so sick of this fucking shit. This is yet another just fucking lazy, incompetent, asset-cobbling developer who doesn't know how to code shit. He doesn't know how to fucking make a game. He just cobbled together a whole bunch of assets, hits export, and thinks that he can charge $15 for this fucking game. Like, this is an absolute big pile of shit. And shame onto the developer for... It takes me fucking four goddamn minutes to fucking reload. Come on, man. In the meantime, you've thrown fucking 7,000 fucking assets at me. The gun, the reload animation, everything here is nothing but a fucking asset this developers purchased on the, uh, on the Steam Marketplace, on the Unreal Marketplace. I do like the maps. Like I said, the maps are pretty cool. So, you know, a developer that actually can make a good game could probably make a pretty good... How many times do I got to hit the R button to reload? Like, it shows me... I'm hitting R. Finally, it reloads. So you can't even reload. I had to hit the R button about 10 times to actually reload my weapon. This is not... A, you know, a player's inability to play your fucking game. Your game is an absolute pile of shit. Like, there's no other excuse for this. This is you just simply cobbling together assets into a fucking big mess of a game. Your reload doesn't fucking work half the time. Uh, your volume is completely fucking broken. I have to hurt, turn down every fucking slider all the way down to like 2%, and the game is still up. Now I'm hitting play, and the game won't even go. Yeah, I mean, I can't even hit play. Oh, there it goes. So the play button works, like, not even half the time. We saw me have to click it 20 times before the game actually launched. 
What a complete broken pile of shit. This game isn't worth 99 cents, much less $14.99. And somehow you made the trailer actually deceive the consumer into thinking this looks like a pretty fun little game. No, this is a very shit game made by an incompetent developer who doesn't know how to make a fun game. And how is that supposed to be acid that the, you know, that the uh, at zombies are spewing at me? You're just throwing fucking random speckles of acid all over the screen. And how am I supposed to dodge that? This game is absolute trash. It's as trash as it looks, and somehow your trailers make it look good. But the game itself is fucking garbage. I've played both of your maps right now, and both are just complete catastrophes. So we have yet another asset cobbling developer who wants to call himself a developer. No, you're not a, a fucking developer. You're an asset cobbler. Doing the same thing as most people nowadays do on Steam. They want to call themselves indie developers. You don't know how to code. You don't know the fundamentals of how to make a fucking game. You just buy fucking assets and cobble them all up together in a big fucking pile of shit that we have here. And then export it and sell it on Steam for some ridiculous price. Uh, shame on you to the developer, I mean to the asset cobbler of this fucking garbage. You're going to need to learn simple fundamentals to make a fun game. You're going to need to learn something besides how to cobble together fucking assets and hit the export button. You might have to learn some fucking code. Boy, imagine that. Novel concept, huh? You're going to use the Unreal Engine, you're going to need to learn C++. You're going to have to rely on, you know, something besides assets to do all the work for you. Or if you are using any code, you know, scouring the internet and just copying somebody else's code and putting it in your game and calling it done. No, you need to learn how to actually code yourself to make the game perform how you envision the game. Uh, cobbling together assets, guys, always leads to almost the same result every time I play one of these things. Another missed video, and this is no different. Shame on you to the developer for... Uh, Doing the same thing that Game Guru developers do, just cobbling together a whole bunch of assets and hitting export and calling it good. Um, and I know this developer will probably fire back, but I'm just trash at the game. You know, you guys can, you know, anybody watching this video can go buy the game and see if they have a, a different experience and see if they think this game's worth 15 fucking dollars. I think not. This makes miss number 296, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.